Welcome to this new lecture of Natural Language Processing with Python. In this lecture, we will learn word sense disambiguation using the LESC algorithm. The LESC algorithm is used for resolving word sense disambiguation. Suppose we have a sentence such as on the bank of river Ganga, there lies the scent of spirituality. And other sentence, I am going to withdraw some cash from the bank. Here the same word that is bank is used in two different contexts. For text processing results to be accurate. For text processing results to be accurate. The context of the words needs to be considered. In the less algorithm, words with ambitious meanings are stored in the background in the sin sets. The definition that is closer to the meaning of a word being used in the context of sentence will be taken as the right definition. Let's perform a simple exercise to get a better idea of how we can implement this exercise. Implementing the LESC algorithm using string similarity and text vectorization. In this exercise, we are going to implement the LESC algorithm, the LESC algorithm step by step using the techniques as we have learned so far in the previous lectures. We will find the meaning of the word bank in the sentence in the sentence on the banks of river Ganga there lies the scent of spiritual, spiritual, spirituality. We will use cosine similarity as well as we can also use jacquard similarity here. Follow these steps to complete this exercise. In step one open a Jupyter or Colab notebook book and then in step 2 import the required library libraries to complete this exercise first we import the panda library and then we uh, import the nltk library and then we import the method of uh, method to calculate cosine similarity between two texts from sk learn library and then we import world underscore tokenize method from nltk library and similarly tfidf vector plus from sklearn library and then we uh, and then we import the data set uh, fetch underscore 20 use groups from sklearn data sets package and at the end we import numpy library we import numpy library which is which is a numerical computing library and and in step 3 we define a method tfidf vectors of a corpus we define a user defined we define a user defined function get tfidf vectors and its uh, argument and its parameter is corpus and then we create the vectorizer model uh, vectorizer model of tfidf vectorize and then we fit underscore transform this um, TFIDF, TFIDF model on on our corpus and the result is saved in the TFIDF vector variable and then return TFIDF vectors the result of uh, IDF vectors uh, dot, uh, dot two array function actually return the uh, result of TFIDF in, uh, in array form and then we go in the cell number four where we define a function to underscore load underscore case and we pass this function corpus as our parameter and this corpus actually and the all and this line of code actually uh, in this line of code we use load function it's mean we it's mean uh, we convert this function will convert the uh, sentence of sentence of our corpus in lowercase form in lowercase form so run the cell actually see run all cells run this cell first run this cell and then run this. and this is the most important function actually this function is uh, Let's check the similarity between a sentence 
between a sentence vector and a definition vector. What is a sentence vector and what is a definition vector? Uh, we will detail study in the next cells. So first we uh, understand this function. Okay, and this is a, a user defined function. It has two parameters: sent underscore vector means sentence underscore vector and definition underscore vectors. And then we have two variables: next underscore, which, which we define in minus infinity, and this is we, we initialize with none. And then we uh, run a loop, run a loop in in dictionary. In now dictionary, you know a dictionary data structure. There are two things. One is key, and other is item mean value. So so therefore, for key comma definition underscore vector in definition underscore vector dot items, and then we calculate the similarity between sentence vector and the definition vectors. Uh, this reshape method is used to is you is used to change the dimension 1d into 2d because s cosine underscore similarity function only accept two dimensional data or array if similarity score is greater than max underscore uh, max underscore max underscore max, uh, max underscore score then max underscore score is equal to Similarity underscore score and definition underscore id variable set to key and then return both these and then this function will return both these uh, uh, both these parameters or variables and uh, run this function. Okay, now this is fun this function is ready to use in the next cells. Now we define our corpus. Our corpus has a uh, has so many sentences. So we run. Okay. Use the previously defined methods to find the definition of the word bank. Uh, first, we uh, convert our corpus into lower cases letter by using the two underscore lower underscore case. Uh, case function and and passing our corpus as a parameter and then we check the result after running this is cell okay our our data or our sentences will be converted into lowercase letters and then we run this then we convert this corpus into tfidf vector by using this function and then passing these lowercase corpus so this is this is the result of our numeric tfidf uh, tfidf model or tfidf vector next next we extract the first vector from our tfidf vector so yeah. this is so this is the first vector or first tf idf vector and then and then we define our dictionary uh, whose first key is df1 it's mean definition 1 and definition 2 and whose value is corpus uh, tf idf vector 1 and tf idf vector 2 so run the sum at the end we check the similarity between sentence vector and definition vectors we have already defined in the previous cells so run this cell it's mean it's mean the definition 2 it means second vector is similarity is 14 percent and now we will form it in a novel way so this is the it's mean the definition of world bank is def in def2 with a similarity of 0.14 percent so thank you very much see you in the next lecture of natural language processing with python